we go. We are back with our first WLN video for a year. It's the first time I'm showing my face on camera for a year, so I'm sure I'm going to lose a bunch of subs today. That's, that's tough. Uh, I'm with IJ Josh. We're starting a new series. So I'll be kind of interacting with different content creators over the next couple of weeks. Looking back on the whole year, because there's nothing going on in the game right now, so there's nothing to make content on. We might as well have a look back. And um, I've tried to get people who are specific to different modes. So we're going to look back on like Triple Threat Offline, Unlimited, and I'm going to get people that are associated with those modes. And if you've ever watched IJ Josh stream, it's very clear about the fact his mode is uh, TTO. So <laughs> we're going to yeah. jump into it. Uh, how are you doing, man? Melting? It's because TTO is literally, it's a short and sweet mode. The games take like three minutes. If you lose, you sort of just like, oh, whatever. Yeah. But then when you get to the top board and there's nothing there, you just get more night. So it's grown yeah. on me. Two, two months ago, it's probably my least you. favorite th mode. Now I love it. Oh, TTO is so good. I, I, I'd say it's so good. Lack of defensive settings make it an absolute nightmare. <laughs> But if it you would abuse need it, if the AI could just do what it needed to do. Yeah, if you if you abuse the AI and how stupid they are, it is you can be very very successful in TTO. Yeah, I've got the best record I've ever had. I'm like 43 and four this season on, uh, I on am, TTO. I am 88 and 61 just because I leave a lot of my games Killing to it. get up the boat. Get up the boat quicker. <laughs> yeah, that's a smart thing to do. I, I literally yep. said it. I posted a video yesterday on. I got the three end game cards. Finally, I got harder. And, and basically, like the last 20 games I've played, I've literally run through one player because I only play TTO for gameplays. So I've won yep. like 20 games in a row scoring with one player. I think I might be a beast now. Decent. <laughs> I think I might be a beast. Very, oh, very decent. How are you doing in the heat, man? Melting. <laughs> literally, literally melting. I have like two oh. fans and a window open. I've got, I've got a literal industrial fan. Like this thing belongs in a factory. I'm still hot. Like it's, it's bad. It's bad. I'm from India. I should be. I shouldn't be suffering like this. Yeah. I don't want to hear if you have any Australian viewers. I don't care how hot it is in Australia. Us in the UK are not built for this heat. Like we're really, yeah. we average like 15 degrees, if that. <laughs> I lived in Australia for three months. To be honest, like that is that's a different kind of heat. Like it's. <laughs> it, <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. Australia is just, it's hell on earth. Like, that's what it Dude, is. In the UK, we are used to rain and we are used to miserable. That's that's the weather we are used to. But we're not yeah. used to sunshine. We complain when it's here and then we complain when it's gone. That's that's just the yep. British way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> All right, shall we jump into these cards then? So we're going to look at every TTO reward. We're only going to look at the headline cards throughout the year. First of all, do you think they've done a good job with TTO rewards this year? Uh, yeah, like 90% of them I've absolutely no issue with. Like even they have an invincible on there at the moment, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, they finally, after months of me complaining, uh, they finally have events on the weekend now pretty consistently for TTO and Clutch yeah. Time and stuff. So there's stuff to do on the weekends. That's not just limited. Yeah. By the way, limited is terrible and no one should play it. Um, <laughs> it's pretty bad now. It's, uh, it's a Denny Avdia Rui Hachimura event every weekend. <laughs> it literally it is. is. Like, Everyone's running that every single weekend. God, we've had Darmara since March and we're still limited to like pink diamonds and stuff. Like, it's so dead. <laughs> like, Have you pulled anything from TTO, like one of the um, like special cards, special event cards? Yes, I had Vince. Right. I got my clutch time. Yeah, I sniped a Vince for 100k. He sold for 190. Then about 50 minutes later, uh, Vince popped up on my boards. So it was nice. an extra 380 when I got them both. So very happy with that. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah, those events have been good. Yeah, so I haven't included any of those cards. Um, we're just going to look no, at this video. Will be like, this video will be like four hours otherwise. Yeah. We, we, every time <laughs> you've done a video, I planned for it to be 20 minutes and it's been like an hour. So let's, <laughs> let's see how we get on. All right, let's start with uh, Diamond Gus Gerard. You remember that card? Very, sort of. Like, I remember he was like one of the first diamonds that you could just get in the game. Um, yeah. Just looking at it, 18 gold badges. I think that was good at one point. Like, I know there was Ruby cards that had 40 silver badges at one point. But from what I remember, I did use this quad quite a bit. And I did rather enjoy him for the most part. Like, 6-8 yeah. small forward, those free fundamental dribble style, which is not great. It was day but... one, bro. <laughs> yeah, it has, yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's hard to look back at and just see. Oh, fundamental might not have been that bad. <laughs> yeah, it was probably elite at the time. Um, I got him. I got him five minutes into the game coming out here, or the game being available. I literally just ran the board immediately, 
and uh, got him. And like, I think DBG did a gameplay like on my account. It must have been like 15 yeah. minutes realistically, but it was just quit after quit. And then he just popped up on like game eight. And that was it. So he was like oh, my first days. reward card. Um, he was a W for me. What were you, what are you giving him? I mean, I gave him a W, like diamond first get, first week of the game. Yeah, so he, he it's hard good. It's hard to really call it an L, I'll be honest, because yeah. instantly he'll go in your team. <laughs> yeah, I think he was like a top five card at the time, to be honest. Like, certainly on day one, for sure. Yeah. 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 Very, very, very solid. Uh, all right, diamond ML car. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I'm looking at my collection. I don't have him. So, I mean, three half badges. Yeah. It, you know, in September, it will be defensive and, you know, one of them being off ball pest isn't the greatest, but <laughs> <laughs> off ball pest. They need to lower badges. There's too many badges. Oh, yeah. But I've just been having that's... a debate on Twitter. Have you seen it? Yeah, that's that's a story for another day. But <laughs> I'm, I'm ray showing the hell out of DFS right now. It's good, good times. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> DFS, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do the level 40 one of these it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be Happy the most days. pointless video ever he's gonna give everything a w. <laughs> like, literally two of them are a w <laughs> yeah, yeah. and the rest are just eh. yeah i think ml car was pretty good i'm gonna give him a w as well i remember he was like people were using him as a primary ball handler, uh, and there wasn't many in the game so um yeah I'll give no, him a fair. all right i'll give him an n just because i don't have him so <laughs> he's oh, been right. on the boards like randomly since like march and i still don't have him somehow like i don't <laughs> I didn't, I I didn't get, get him at it. the time, but I think I've pulled him 30 times since, like, in, in the recent <laughs> events. Like, he, he's just, like, 1,000 MT for me now every time he pops up. Um, yeah. All right, we got Diamond Rod Strickland. I barely remember this card. This is the one I'm, I, like, blanking on a little bit. I know I got him, but I don't think I used him. I mean, he, just look at his card now. For November, he still looks all right. Like, goal playmaking everywhere. Did he have Good the Kyrie for- jumper? Was that hit? He does have Kyrie's jumper. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I do remember. He was de- it was an N, I think, for me. He was decent. I w- I would probably go for an N just because I somehow don't have him either. <laughs> yeah. I play so much triple threat online. But yeah, that is wild. Card somehow. The fact that there is a TTO card you don't have is kind of kind of nuts. <laughs> uh, right, who we got next? We have got Diamond Full Silas. I think these aren't in the right order, but they're in like tier order. If you know what I mean, Diamond Pink. Diamond, yeah. So well, that's... Silas is instant W. Like, yeah, he, was a beast. he was outstanding when he came out. Yeah, easy W. Easy yeah, he w. was literally. I remember when he came out. Every, like all people did was grind TTO. Yeah, like, he, he, he was, was the first one that people properly went ham for. Like yeah, they, yeah. half interceptor, half intimidator, half pogo instantly. Yeah, like, that's top tier card. Yeah, so, jump shot was a little iffy, but apart from that, he was a very solid card. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a W. Uh, That's like next... the easiest W of the set yeah. so far. I think the next one's an easier W, to be honest. Actually, the next two might be. <laughs> uh, the next one is um, Calvin Nat. He was my starting power forward for a month or two. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't remember this card that much. I don't know why. He just he doesn't ring a b- Like, I look, at the, I look at the next card we're all about. I remember him a lot because he was so much fun to use yeah. until everyone... But yeah, like I don't remember <laughs> having that that much, I'll be honest. Yeah, so I'll let, you, uh, I'll let you take the reins on this one. Yeah, he was a W all day long. Like, yeah, he, he was... I got him quickly and he just ran for ages. Like, for me, like the ultimate W is someone who was in my squad for more than a week, which is rare in this game, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, I wish I could say the same. I run the same lineup for like two months. <laughs> you do, just Patrick Ewing. Who you got, Patrick you Ewing? That. What's your I lineup now, J.R. Smith? And Meadow. No, my lineup now is actually all right. It, I say it's all right. It's very, very. Uh, I have Yawa point guard. I have MJ at shooting guard. I have Durant at small forward. Then Wilton Taco. So, a cheese ball. Two K. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that end game Ewing, and I am splurging all my MT on that card. You think that's gonna happen? There's no. No, thing. but it. But no, but <laughs> freaking Jr. Smith has got one. That's true. It's like true. I love Jr., but he is not. Endgame cards are just... They, it's bad, isn't it? It's getting, it's getting I, I worse by the day. <laughs> you can say that, but I don't think I can say that. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, I, li- I like it. This is a whole other video now. I, I like the endgame thing <laughs> because of the other cards. And I think people have kind of... They've kind of missed the point, right? Which is like, they're saying, oh, well, why have they all got the same six? Well, the cards with the original six are still being released. I kind of see the endgame as like 
the alternative to the card that would have been released. You know what I mean? Like, we would have got Invincible yeah, yeah. T-Mac anyway, right? But we've just yeah. got a slightly better version. So if you don't like the Endgame version and you want Buried 6, then use Invincible one. The only thing I like with the Endgame cards is now I have a 60 half Kevin Durant for 30k. Like, <laughs> that's instantly, that's the only reason why I like the Endgame. Which, to be fair, that's probably the reason why they uh making the packs the way they are. Which the pack format, I will say, is trash. Like, I do not like the way they're doing packs this season. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit dead. Yeah, it's a whole other video. Let's, let's yeah. I could do we this. Just off on this tangents, is when it turns really into do. an hour, yeah. <laughs> I could do that. I could definitely chat, chat about that stuff for an hour. All right, Diamond Steve Francis. Oh, you so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. Any card that I can dunk with early on in the season, so much fun. He was the first card we got with Decent Six. Like, yeah. literally the first card we got with Decent Six. And, you know, the Francis size up now is still OP, you know? Like, yeah, he was yeah. massive W. Car, he could dunk, he could shoot 6-3, so he was still usable. At that time, <laughs> he, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, he was so much fun to use. Instant W, but it's not even in contention. Yeah. We haven't got an L yet. But speaking of that, we've got Keith Van Horn next. <laughs> the big hmm. diamond. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your thoughts? I'm sure I've gotten this card like yeah. 40 times, in a, and I don't think I've ever used him. I'll be honest. I, yeah, oh, I, think, I think I used. I remember now. I, literally, I had a debate with someone about this card. They were like, "Oh, Boris Spotlights come up, and you need Nets players." I'm like, "I will still not use him." <laughs> he plays the same position he, as KD. What are you talking? He about? is garbage. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, fam, if they dropped it now, fan favorites KD is like 5k. Yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's so bad. He, he so, was, so bad. He was horrendous. L, like massive L, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Uh, next, we got a, I'm sure, a W, Pink Diamond Kazi. Oh, the Invisible Man himself. The Invisible uh, Man? <laughs> why, why, why is it the Invisible Man? Oh, did you not watch 250k tournament? Oh, yeah. yeah yes, I do remember that. Cool. He literally went, he literally disappeared. Yeah, the boy was invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I mean, thoughts on the card? Uh, he... he still has, in my opinion, the best jump shot in the game. Like, set... Y'all can keep your set shot 25. Like, jump shot 3 is still my favorite. Next to MJ's jumper, it is still yes. my favorite jump shot in the game. Thank you. Why has no endgame cards got MJ's jumper? I don't know. MJ is literally my favorite card this entire year. Same. I thought it would be KD, but MJ is just... He's so freaking good. Which, well, really, which is I'm weird. I'm starting Hero MJ over like three endgame cards right now. Yeah, because you look at last year. MJ was terrible. Yeah, he was. Like, Scotty was always better than him. But yeah. thankfully, MJ is a lot better. Yeah, that, that Pe release is... is The thing is, people say like Luke is the best card. L Luke is good at taking bad shots. MJ's good I, at taking good shots. And his jumper is almost as uncontested. Because I've gone from MJ to power within Luca. I'm used to escaping with mj god lucas escape he, he literally just sidesteps like a millimeter yeah, like, he, yeah. just does not he doesn't need to escape <laughs> he just he just shoot it but, in taco's face it's gonna go but in. it is nice if he does have it yeah yeah no basically i agree i think it's the best it's the best jump shot off the dribble apart from mj's i i, I agree yeah yeah perfect right next we have um opal sharif abdul rahim i barely remember this card i think i got it like really late because he came out and then he was quite quickly outdated but there was a period where people liked him but i didn't get him in that period i got him too late so i, I, would I, like I think to... i might have used him once yeah i would like to think i remember using him but i i mean i have him so that instantly makes me feel like i've used him but I mean, he's got an all right card for i mean it is february but yeah uh, i mean he looks and... okay like, from what I remember, uh, yeah, probably N, because I just... I'm struggling to remember the card. I do not remember this card. In <laughs> it this wasn't way. that long ago. I'm not that old. Like, I, like yeah. You I should be able... it was five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, yeah, it's true. All right, yeah, all right, we'll give him an N then. So, Dan Issel next. It's an interesting one. Um, I mean, I remember using him. I remember getting annoyed because they put him and Jeremy Grant on the board at the same time. And yeah. I always kept getting Dan. I could not get Jeremy for, to save my life. Yeah. But, I mean, 6'9 power forward slash center. He was good. It, I mean, 
Kevin Love on normal? I mean, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it was good. I don't know. I'm somewhere between the. I'm going to give him an N, I think. But I reckon there's people that would give him a W. He was good. At I mean, he's got decent badges for the most part. Like yeah. Brick wall, rebound chaser, limitless spot up for a center in January. I mean. I think the problem yeah, is fair. like we had like pink diamond centers that were so OP. We had Porzingis and D Rob. Like, he was only running that power forward, really. But yeah, for an Opal, I don't. I think he was a bit underwhelming for the time. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got Jeremy Grant next. I actually like this card. I'll be honest. I actually, I actually really, really like this card. I didn't use him a lot because KD was my baby for a long time. Um, but he was fun to use for the, you know hour or two that I used him. Yeah. Uh, are you giving him a W? Uh, can I give him a in-between N and a W? <laughs> it's not quite how this works, is it? Um, <laughs> I'll give him a dub gone because he was actually all right. I'm going to give him an N, but I, yeah, I reckon most people would give him a W. I just, I just didn't use it. I was the same as you. Like, I fought really hard to get the card then didn't really use it. I don't know if you just got oh, every, updated. Every time. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. All right, uh, Bradley Beal. Oh, I love Matt. this card. I actually, re I enjoyed using this card a lot. Even though it's April and he's 6'3 as a point guard. He has Ray Allen on very quick and I adore that jump shot so much. You know what's funny? He's very similar to Pete. He's like a dated Pete. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he yeah. Is. Uh, I'll give him a W as well. Not because I, you could use him in any competitive way, shape or form, but it's like... I feel like one of the things they did this year with, with with TTO especially is they put in cards that are fun to use in TTO. Yeah. Like you just look at Pete now, right? He's like the perfect TTO card and he's in TTO. Um I think I think Bill was was that guy. Yeah. This it, is what I love about playing TTO. When people will tell me like, oh Giannis is finally a point guard, I'm like, man, I've been running Giannis a point guard for like four months because he's just the smallest player on my TTO lineup. Yeah, yeah, so sure. instantly he's my point guard. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's well. I like. Do you like? Do you like running like taller cards in TTO? It depends. Like my TTO at the, at the moment, like MJ, I'm running like forever because that card is just too good. And then I usually run like two bigs. Yeah, I started mixing it up a lot. I got Harden the other day. Oh, he's been my main uh, go-to. Like I'll, I'll yeah. run Giannis. At, I'll run point guard Giannis and uh, Jokic as my bigs. <laughs> and then I'm on like, I mean, oh, I don't know MJ. I mean, if I was on next, I'd be running MJ, Wilt, and Taco. So you know, I can't really say much. <laughs> I have, I have a strong opinion on Wilt. I have really, I, I regret it. I really regret it, and not you? because, not because, like he's dated or anything, because he's not. I just don't think his jumper's very good. I think the upper's what? really bad. <laughs> it's like you compare it to Lucas' jump shot. And he just can't get it off. I don't know what it is. There's something about Will I don't like. I'm running um, Hero Kareem over him. He does have like 60 hops. That's what I don't know about that. To be fair, I will say Kareem is like, I'd say he's at like top two centers for me in terms of like how much I love them. Like, because yeah. Kareem is just so good in this game. Kareem's jump is quicker than Will's. Uh, yeah, Kareem's jumper is way too good. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. It's a It's so quick. Yeah. Uh, all right, who we got next? Dark uh, Marquez Johnson. Uh, he came and he went. I don't, I don't think anyone really cared that much, to be honest. I'm going to give it an end for one reason. Uh, you know those cards that have like a zero three point um, tendency? Oh, does he, does he have it? Yeah. And, and it's like the worst it was all year. Like he would he would spot up in the corner and the, the, the opposition would physically run away from it. Like it wasn't like they would back off. They would just literally run to the other side of the court to guard someone who's worth guarding. And his jump shot was really nice. So you knocked down threes all day with him. Um, just because he was a bit broken, I'll give him an N. But you give it, what are you give him an L? No, I'll give him an N. But just because he, 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 he was a good card, but like no one was matching. Set good old Seddy at shooting guard at that yeah, time. That's so true. that's true. Like you got Cedric Maxwell, or you were running no one at shooting guard. <laughs> like, did you did you knock him for the dark matter? I did. Whoa. No, not the dark matter. No, not the dark matter. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I'll bear with. See, the opal version that came up shortly after that was almost as good. 
Yes, I did do the Dharma because I remember I snipe. I had all the cards and then I snipe Robert Parish as soon as he came out. And then magic th flew up to like a million MT. Okay, <laughs> diamond magic. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. I, I want to see what he's going for now. He's probably still going for a ton. Um, he's got a hundred k bid on him. I just checked. Like he's got like twenty hours left. So. Jeez. But yeah, that right. car got so expensive. Yeah. I, 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 what was the first? What was the first card I locked in for since Don Maker in two K twenty? You didn't lock in Bobo in twenty one. No. Oh, I, really? I'm lying. I'm lying. I've, I've said that so many times. And I've just realized I looked in for Kareem. You know the goat Kareem? Oh, that was, was a lock in, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, I did lock in for that Kareem. Oh, the Rashad Lewis uh, Showtime yeah. card, I think. And they put yeah. him in the token market. Yeah, they did, yeah. <laughs> and it just switched tokens. to someone else. <laughs> um, uh, Jamal Wilkes. Did you get him? I did. I remember now. I was grinding because I put a screenshot on Twitter. I can't remember who was in the Triple Threat Online uh, boards, but I got five Jamal Wilkes before I got the actual Dark Matter in like that you could sell on the boards. Yeah, I had like ten of them. He was the most <laughs> like most available TTO card ever. Yeah, I had a lot of Jamal Wilkes. Yeah, um, and I'm sorry. Four half shooting badges in May. Yeah, sorry, son, you you were not getting played. Yeah, he's an L. Yeah, just for the amount that he wound me up because he always appeared on my board an L. Yeah, <laughs> he was just there throughout all the events, and he just pop up every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he, he was bordering on a troll card at that point. Uh, Kelly Ubre, uh, the fattest W in this video probably. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a strong take. All right. Oh, dude, I love this card. He was so good. He was really, really I thoroughly enjoyed using this card. And I got him within like I think thirty minutes as well. He was just really, really good. Like he was really, really. Yeah. He, he cooked I me just... a few times. Like I didn't use him much, but he definitely cooked me more. Once. Oh, don't get me wrong. I came up against him in TTO. I slapped him silly, but <laughs> 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 but I still. But I enjoy using him. So <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh... Like people, like people use um, not Devin Booker. Who's the other free invincible everyone got this season? The other three invincible? Yeah, I'm sure people got like. I know I, they got Devin IT Booker was for the free. Other... Was that? I can't remember. I think Booker was the only free one. I might be wrong. Oh, there. yeah, Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah. So Devin Booker, I come up against him. I'm slightly worried because his jumper is unbelievably Broken. good. Yeah. Yeah. I come up against Isaiah. He doesn't scare me in the slayers. <laughs> yeah. He, he is like, this guy's had the game for three days. That's, that's a tough <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. I'm going to give Ubre an N. I think he was underrated. I agree, he's underrated. I did use him a few times. I actually <laughs> used him. I used him in a video saying, like, the video was titled something like everyone has these cards and has never used them. So I started using a bunch of cards that no one ever uses. Uh, and he was great. Yeah, he was really good. But at the time, I mean, he wasn't elite, in my opinion. But he was fun. He was fun. He was yeah. very fun. Everyone needs to remember this game can be very annoying, but just try and have fun with it. As oh, hard yeah. as it is, just try and have fun with it. That's what I'm all about now. You said it weirds you out that I'm like positive now. Well, yeah, I'm used to 2K21 <laughs> jazz. Like, <laughs> just the red mist for it. <laughs> we'll, we'll chat about that after. Let's, 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 uh, let's get to the last one. The last one is um, Pistol Pete. What's your thoughts? Uh, Easy, easy W. He's not like comp by any means. Like he's not like 2K21 next gen Pete Maravich, but he's still, you know, he's still a, like he's fun. He's, he's he's a fun card. That is that's exactly like, yeah. He does what he needs to do. Like uh, you got, like you got a Zaya Thomas. You got Devin Booker like for free this year, uh, this season. You got a Pete Maravich now. Like everyone has a good team. Like, yeah. They're just fun, fun cards. It's been the year where, like, obviously at a competitive level, it still matters, height. But at any yeah. other level, it just doesn't. And you could take a card like Pete and have a ton of fun with it in a way you couldn't this time last year. Or this Dude, time as much as I love running Yawa point guard, the amount of times Devin Booker has shot over his face. Yeah, what is, is with that card? <laughs> like, do I do I need to put it in? Like, do I need to start using him? I don't, I don't know. Well, Booker? Yeah. He's... Uh... The best so way broken. I described him 
Yeah, the best way I found described him was he sort of like I don't know, like a light version of uh, Luca, but he can yeah. dribble a little bit, yeah. but not like he can't dribble a lot, but he like he's, he's good. very good. <laughs> it's Carlo's fault, isn't it? It's Carlo's fault. Screamed for that card for six months, finally got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Maybe that's what I need to do with you in, like, because I've I've stopped, I've stopped uh, the the Ewing propaganda for a bit. But. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Do you think they've been putting cards in intentionally to please certain content creators this year? Um, maybe the odd one or two, but I don't think they. Maybe they look through their replies and be like, unless they do like a fan favorite set, maybe, but. I don't know, point I... God Larry Johnson's wild. <laughs> and random as hell. And then the next week, like, Ben Wallace came out. Oh, dude, I'll never forget when when they announced Patrick Ewing on Twitter, my phone blew up with people just spamming me. It was, like, the best feeling in the world. I was like, I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> I didn't even realise, like, it was the one content drop, like, I wasn't available for this whole year. So usually, like, even if I'm working, I'll have, like, you know, a stream open or something, just just checking out what's going on. And that day, I had a meeting. I logged into Twitter, and it's like gone off. And Jacobs just tagged me saying someone check on Jazz. <laughs> and it was like an hour ago that it got announced. The one content drop I missed was the one I really wanted. To, I was looking forward to. Um, oh, cool, man. Like that for me, I was in work when Endgame Carmelo dropped. And I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. You've had a good year, man. You you hit 18k the other day. I did. I did. Congrats, man. That's that's a hell of a year, man. Yeah, uh, well, uh, we'll we'll talk after after video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got some plans. <laughs> uh, well, plans is one word. Ranting is another word. Oh, know. okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. I got you. In that case, let's end it there. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. We that was like overall that was a big W for TTO this year. Like for sure. Yeah, TTO has been very good. I wish they, I wish like they would add more packs to it. Because yeah, it's be night, good. it's night. Even though you, I've literally not gotten anything from challenge packs, free packs. It's just nice that they're there, like, and you can get them quite often. Like in two games, twenty, you literally got a pack on your first game, like on yeah. the on the bottom of the board. Like, yeah, yeah I'm not asking true. for it to be like that, but I would like them just to be on the board more often. I mean, they, they love a don't close the pack, but just any point of view, <laughs> <laughs> just any point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Dog over packs never go out of style, man. That's Literally, two K is all reliable. That's why. <laughs> the big W with TTO was the once they once they fixed that initial disaster of the one hundred, right? Um, I think everyone got like if you wanted the reward, you get it. Doesn't matter what skill level you were at. It was yeah, so easy to get. Uh, to the top. I hope they keep that format next year. I I just don't know. Like I, again, I'm not going to say a whole lot, but I the whole like a hundred where you can see the hundred points was the worst thing they could have done the TTO. <laughs> what, the initial one? Or, or the yeah. current one? Yeah, the initial one was The current one's fine. Catastrophic. Like, it's whatever. Like, if anything, the current one's fine because now you just, you yeah, can I lose like more games. Like, so. But for me, I like I like it when everyone has the opportunity to get cards and like, you know, skill level matters in terms of like, you can get it quicker yeah, you can. Whatever, but I'd like, I'd like to see everyone have the opportunity to get a card but i think tto does that perfectly yeah on the board you can go five you can win five and lose five and get to the top of the board yeah, yeah. like you don't have to be good at the game at all yeah and you can save Obviously the it helps but you don't have to you don't have to be good at the game that much. I mean, technically you can lose six games right out of the ten uh and save the last board if he pops up like yeah it's it's, it's great it's great yeah all right man thank you for your time i appreciate it um, I don't know what we've got next. We've got videos coming up with Jacob, DFS, DBG, JD crossover. It's going to be good. But yeah, this is the first one, man. Thank you. Thank you for joining me, man. Um, All good. It's a lot of fun. Happy to be here. Cool. All right. Until next time, thanks for watching.